In this video we print worm gears with the most common printing materials PLA, PTG and ABS But can you really use them? I think we have to do some testing Just before we get started I have heard people call those things worm and worm gear or worm gear and worm wheel I believe both are correct but in this video I call them worm gear and worm wheel But what is a worm gear? It's a gear what don't have tooth but have spiral threads exactly like screw have Worm wheel is not regular spur gear It looks similar but the tooth are at a slight angle and when you look this way you see there is a little curve Speaking about 3D printing Well printing worm wheel is nothing special but worm gear can be a bit tricky I printed every material in 3 different ways One horizontal, one vertical and one at a 45 degree angle Let's take a closer look at this worm gear that is printed in the vertical direction You see I use supports over here the reason for that, those overhangs are too steep and without them this one didn't turn out really good But after removing supports, those threads are too rough and it's still unusable But way different story is with those two, which are really similar and turn out really good I still had to use a bit of support material So both of them are usable Personally I like the 45 degree one most The problem with worm gears is friction And friction mean heat and wear Plastic is a pretty weak material and this can wear off really quickly Now we know we can print worm gears But can we really use them? To know this we have to run some tests For that I build a really simple setup The first time we run those worm gears and wheels without any lubrication Then we use grease Will this make a difference? Let's find out But first let's speak about today's sponsor Tanks Tanks is an online catalog of 3D models with over 1.6 million indexed models in the database Tanks is powered by Geometric Search which means that you can find 3D model by uploading a model and find all similar models Do you have partly completed model? Upload it to Tanks to find similar completed models to download for your project You can also collaborate on Tanks by creating a private team of Tanks users to share great ideas Tanks is a community You can cooperate with other Tanks members Follow the work of Tank users, comment and like their models Tanks now support ASM Making uploading and organizing quick Exploring models and each of their components is easier than ever before The new hover and highlight feature makes part identification and selection possible Find hidden parts with the assembly by hovering over the part name in the assembly list This video and many my other video models you can find at the tanks So find me at the tanks.com and download all my projects for free I will run those worm gears at 3 different speeds for 2 minutes The first time worm gear rotates a bit more than 2000 times per minute The rest of the video I call this level 1 Level 2 will be 8000 rpms and the last one, level 3 is just maximum speed Worm gear runs around 12,000 RPMs And for power supply I use 6 amps LiPo battery But ok, let's start with try testing First one is ABS ABS survived the first level Temps are fine but I see a little wear Level 2, 8000 RPMs This worm gear is completely worn out Also worm wheel but not so much So ABS failed at level 2 after 12 seconds runtime Next one PLA PLA survived the first level Temps are fine and it looks like PLA were less than ABS But let's continue with level 2 
little accident. Pia lay start melting and the coupler came loose. I tied this up and meanwhile the warm wheel and warm gear stuck together. It was pretty difficult but I got them separated and we can continue. Because there was a little accident, the total runtime might be a bit longer, but still it did a better job than ABS. The PLA worm gear threads are completely melt, and PLA worm wheel is way more damaged than ABS was. Now it's time for PTG. It vibrates hard for some reason. I hold this steady for the rest of the best. PTG also passed the level 1 with minor wear. Level 2. Only 3 seconds more and PTG pass level 2. But there is a huge amount of this PTG powder. ABS and PLA had more like peak chunks and more melting damage. But PTG did way better than other materials. The worm wheel looks still pretty nice. This test clear winner is PTG. ABS did the worst result. PLA did a bit better but nothing remarkable. Maybe BLA won a couple of seconds because the coupler came loose, but still it's unusable without lubrication at higher speeds. PTG and ABS warm gears have similar damage, where the threads are sanded away. BLA damage is a bit different. Threads are completely melted. PTG warm wheel looks still pretty nice. ABS has a bit more damage, but BLA warm wheel is by far the worst. Running warm gears dry is really stupid anyway. I bring the new warm gears and wheels, and next test we run them with lubrication. Let's see will this make a difference. I use a lot of grease what is made for high speed plastic gears. I cover all tubes and threads with a really thick layer. This test is really similar to the last one but I did a few changes. I run those gears 2 minutes at level 1, 10 minutes at level 2 and after that 10 minutes at level 3. Let's start again with ABS. ABS passed level 1. Well it should because it did it without grease. But let's continue with level 2. By the way I use this plastic box because I don't want the grease fly all over my room. ABS passed level 2. I didn't expect that. Let's see how long it can run at level 3. And ABS passed level 3. 10 minutes at 12,000 RPMs. <laughs> really impressive. How much it were we take a closer look after all the tests are done. Let's continue with PLA. PLA passed level 1 with no problems. 
Let's continue with level 2. PLA passed level 2. Let's continue with level 3. PLA passed level 3. Really impressive. Right now I don't see any visual wear. Next one is PTG. Let's see can this pass all three levels like ABS and PLA did. PTG passed level 1 with no problems. And PTG also passed level 2. And PTG pass level 3, which mean all materials pass all tests with lubrication. If you look at those warm gears, I don't see any remarkable wear or damage. The same story with warm wheels. This video conclusion, yes you can print warm gears and use them in some applications, if you treat them right. I hope you enjoyed this video, I definitely enjoyed making it. If you have some good ideas for PLA vs PTG vs ABS, then let me know in the comments below. And if you are interested to build and print this setup by yourself, then all necessary links are in the description. But thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.